took me, and I strayed out of thought and time. And every day was as long as a life age of the Earth. But it was not the end. I've been sent back until my task is done. Yeah, I'll be showing you how I painted Lord Commander Solar Yarrick. This was inspired by Pete the Wargamer's conversion of Yarrick. He's a very unique and cool character from 40k, and I really like the conversion, so I did myself. And I used the same parts for the main guy, like the Lord Solar's body, the Bane Blade Commander's head, and an Orc Power Claw. And I got a bunch of random parts and garbage and made his base. Base itself is actually cut up drink carrier material covered in PVA glue with only a very little amount of texture paint and milli put. Two real rocks, a corn blood letter skull because in canon Yalric met his end at the hands of Ingron, and the thing he's standing on is a Walgreens pill cap thing, which I put an orc banner and a couple cardboard fangs on. I kind of tried to make it look like it's a part of a stompa that flew off and skidded across the land. Anyways, after a primer of gray, I painted a lot of the areas with craft plaque paint. Paint the silver areas with plate mail metal by Army Painter. Painted the base with brown sand by Vallejo. Paint all the red areas with heavy red by Vallejo. I also used some sick green on a tiny bit of green parts on the stompa part. And I tried to do tiger striping on the rocks by fitting down heavy red and sick green and splotching it onto the rocks to give it a sort of more realistic look. I don't know if I really did it well. I like the silver on Yarrick's claw and the wings on the armor of the horse with shining silver by Army Painter. You can also use just silver by Vallejo. Paint the hooves on the horse with hammered copper by Vallejo. I've somehow misplaced one of the armored parts for the horse's leg, so uh, ignore that. Or call it bail damage. And because Yarrick is still an Armageddon Steel Legion guy, I painted a few areas Zemesi Desert by Citadel. I have it in a cool dropper bottle. Base coat the tail of the horse with ivory by Vallejo. Paint the rest of the body of the horse with wolf gray by Vallejo. Paint Yarrick's flesh with basic, then light flesh by Vallejo. Paint some gold areas with glorious gold by Vallejo. Shade the base with a mix of Agrax Earth Shade and Dark Tone. Shade the tail to Zemesi Desert and the gold with Seraphim Sepia. To have it look like the Stampa is digging up some of the dirt, I painted some brown sand mixed with dark stone by Army Painter. Then I used the dark stone by itself to highlight the black. Highlight the red with pure red by Army Painter, except for on the reins of the horse. Shade the flesh with flesh wash, shade the silver or dark tone. Shade the horse with apothecary white contrast paint. Dry brush the base with desert yellow by Vallejo. And after a matte varnish, here he is. Here he is with his arch nemesis, Gazgul. I did not paint this figure, I won it. I currently do not have the Angron figure, do totally want eventually. But what do you guys think? You like this conversion idea? You like the Lord Solar figure by itself? You like Yarrick? Would you consider making this figure your own? Let me know in the comments below.